Hello, my name is Maggie Kettering and I am playing Rosemary. My name is Jonathan Dyrood and I am playing Anthony. This play resonates a lot with me because it's the second time I've done it. And the first time I did it, um, I was like 35, 36, 37, somewhere in there. Um, and they talk about these characters as uh, straddling 40. So the first time I did it, I was on this side of 40. And this time I'm on this side of 40. And um, having gone through the pandemic, a period that was for many of us very, very lonely, there's a, they talk about loneliness a lot in this play. And it was having lived through it in a very particular way. I think that really helps inform what the play is driving at. I also lost my father in those intervening years and my character at the very beginning of the play, um, her father has passed. And so I think having really lived through that, anybody who has lost a parent knows it. It's just such a unique roller coaster of experiences. And so there's something about having gone through that that I think really shifts for me where the character was coming from and how 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 much of her world got shifted and shattered and, and reorganized and rearranged. And so for, for me, that, that was a, a really different journey going through the play the, the second time um, here. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. And I think that people should come to see this play mm -hmm. because I don't know if you are aware currently <laughs> Uh, but we are in very shaky ground hmm. in terms of our political and, and, and geopolitical climate right now. So it's really great to have a show that's so, we keep referring to it as if we're in a snow globe. Hmm. So we're in a, this perfect little encapsulated space in Ireland. So it's just a great reprieve from the current craziness that's going on uh, to be able to just watch something where two people that have been going through rocky roads, they both lost their parents, they don't know what they're doing with their lives, they don't know really anything, <laughs> um, but in order to uh, ground themselves in each other, I think is a really sweet story to have right now. Um, the, the thing that's really fun about this play, John and I have known each other for 10 years? Moons. Moons, many, moons. many moons. And the director, Chris Albright, we've known, both of us, extra More moons. moons. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so to come back, um, we all knew each other when we were very weeans, and to come back now as people way closer to middle age, um, some of us more than others, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, and, to, and to tell a story about people finding love, finding companionship, finding their life, in middle age, it, it, it's been mirrored in the rehearsal room and the story that we yeah. tell on stage. There aren't a lot of those stories. You have a lot of lovely stories about people who are young finding love, that kind of explosive, exciting oh, yeah. Romeo and oh, Juliet yeah. love. And this is a story about this really deep love that that you, I think you can only find in, in later ages that is just, built on on who you are today and the promise of of what you could be what you were sure. and and yeah. it's a it's a really unique lovely uh, story that you just don't get to see very much of anymore no